An invasive parasite that devastated fish populations in some western streams is showing up in Tennessee rivers. It poses a health risk to fish and an economic threat to fishing guides and that multi-million dollar industry. WBIR 10 News reporter Grant Robinson explains why leaders are so concerned about whirling disease. The abundance of fish that we have and the quality of fish that are in these waters are very hard to beat. Troy Runyon is one of dozens of fishing guides who's built a career on the pedigree of trout fishing on the South Holston and Watauga rivers. But there's a new parasite in the water. It could be very serious. The problem, whirling disease. Trout are infested by a parasite that can deform the head and tail and it eventually dies. TWRA found it in the Watauga and South Holston rivers last March and the test results were shared this weekend. You know, in itself, when you have such a passion for a sport like fly fishing and you, and you have an, a, an affection for a fish, it's a tragedy for us. The disease devastated some trout streams in the western United States, but TWRA biologist Sally Petrie says each river system responds to the disease differently. Some of them had 90% mortality in them, but other places like Virginia, um, they've had whirling disease for a long time and they don't see those drastic population effects. Some of the fish in these rivers are stocked. TWRA says its hatcheries are tested for the disease each year. And each year they've been negative. But once a stream has whirling disease, there's no way to get rid of it. Petrie says stopping the spread of whirling disease comes down to cleaning boots, boats, and waders. Steps that Runyon says are a responsibility for those who cherish the water. We as fishermen are stewards of the water. We owe it to you know, future generations 